Well, hello again, friends, and welcome back to Honest Stampage. This is Min here, and I'm super excited to share something a little bit different with you. So, this is a long story that I will attempt to shorten, but as we all know, I love to talk, so pray for me. <laughs> anyway, so my dad a few months ago gave me a bunch of wood rounds, and I was like, okay, I know I can use these for something. And they've literally sat in my craft room for months and months and months, and I haven't done anything with them. And then my friend Janie, the craft princess, reached out to me and said, Hey, Min, um, I'm getting really close to a million views on YouTube, which is amazing. And I am going to be doing a giveaway from Plaid and Mod Podge. Would you be willing to do like a little video to kind of share that I've got that prize going on soon? And I was like, yeah. And I still wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. And then I received a package from close to my heart which you saw in a different video and I was like yes I am now inspired I know what I want to do I want to make these little things that can be little decorations or ornaments for people to have just like little house decor because this one as you can see some of the bark fell off but that just means that it sits perfectly up like this which you can't really see but it's it'll sit perfectly to where you can see this and this stamp set oh my gosh you guys the stamp set this is the you make me happy stamp set it is the operation smile stamp set from close to my heart right now it was the perfect stamp set to create this and I needed Mod Podge because I wanted to seal in those beautiful colors. So I'm gonna show you how I made this today, okay? So let me set this up here to the side. You're gonna need a wood round. Now this wood round hasn't really super been prepared. It's literally just been dried out in my parents' driveway and then cut up. If you wanted to bake it and prepare it, you could, but you don't have to. Um, because as I said this is working out really well you're also gonna need stays on ink it needs to be stays on because it will uh, be able to stamp on the wood surface your desired stamps and I think I'm gonna go for this little fox or maybe this owl I'm not sure yet some Mod Podge and a foam brush you're also going to need something to color with and so what I used to color was a white colored pencil and then various distress markers okay and I'll show you why I use the, the white colored pencil here in a little bit so let's go ahead and start with our first step which is going to be to stamp the image on and we can go ahead and just kind of lay this see I'm really liking that owl I think I'm gonna do the owl and so I'm gonna put this on my clear block get out my stays on ink and I recently re-inked this, so it should be good to go. There we go. Look how beautifully that stamped on there. Oh my gosh, that owl is so cute. And then I do want to add a sentiment, and I think I'm going to do sending hugs. Yay, look how cute. Oh, okay. Now, if you just wanted it black and white, you could literally just Mod Podge this and be done. Like, you could totally stop here if you like that black and white look. But I love coloring. And I love coloring on craft paper and things like that. So, here is where the white colored pencil comes in. If you color white over some of these things, when you color over it with the distress marker, the color will be more bold. Here's the other thing. When you color, it's going to look darker than when it dries, and you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and start coloring this in with my white colored pencil, and I'll speed it up. All 
right, so now I have my image colored in white. And if you notice, but I did try to avoid the black lines so that those would stay pretty true to color. And so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some distress markers out and I'm gonna color this in with distress markers. And the brighter the colors, the better. I know that a lot of you really like your jewel tones and your regal colors, but these were with really bright colors. So I'm gonna be using some really bright colors. I'm gonna use this for green. I'm gonna use this yellow for the stars. And then I think I want my owl to be kind of brownish. And so I'm gonna check on these two colors and see what they look like. I'm gonna use the brush side. And what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna color using the brush side. And then as soon as you're done coloring in all of the areas that you're using with that specific marker, you're gonna wanna take a piece of scratch paper or I just have sticky notes lying around because I'm a teacher and sticky notes are life, right? So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna just go like this with my marker to get any colored pencil residue off of it. So there's my green leaves and let's do the little yellow stars. So we've got our stars done and now we're gonna do the owl. Sorry, fake crying because it's so cute. Okay, so next step, to take a heat gun or an embossing gun and heat over this because that's gonna help it dry so it does not smear with the Mod Podge. Okay, so as you can see, as it has dried around the stars, it's a much lighter yellow. And if I touch him, I'm not getting any ink off of me, which means we can now Mod Podge. And I'm just gonna do a thin layer across and then heat it so that it dries quickly. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here he is Mod Podged and I'm hoping you can see the slight shine from the Mod Podge because I used glossy Mod Podge. You could layer this up and do more than one layer of Mod Podge if you want to, but I like it with just this um, thin layer because then it still looks like that natural wood, okay? So the last step is going to be to add little embellishments up here and I've got a whole bag of them. And I'm just gonna simply hot glue these on and I do want them up here at the top so that it's filling in this extra space. And there we go, our darling little owl is complete. He is super duper cute and he is ready to be given as a gift. Thank you so much friends for stopping by today to watch as I created one of these little home decor pieces using wood rounds and Mod Podge. Congratulations Janie for a million views on YouTube. That is amazing. Her videos are fabulous so I'm going to link her down below and I hope you check her out and don't forget that she is going to be doing a huge giveaway with plaid and mod podge for her celebration so until next time i will say hugs and happy stamping friends have a wonderful day bye